Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So I'm back with a spring look and um, a couple of tips. I'm also going to be comparing some new foundations that have come out and just to give you some perspective. On 2023, during springtime, I went ahead and did a review on one drugstore foundation. I have seven sitting here in front of me today. So there's a big difference between last year and this year and the drugstore just seems to be getting momentum and keeping and going, going, going. And um, so let's get started today. Did start with the Glow Oil, the Super Goop. This one has SPF 50 in it. Then I did go ahead and mix two of the foundations that I'm gonna be talking about today together to go ahead and get the foundation or the look that I have on today. Use a True Match um, by L'Oreal and Cool 2.5. And then the Skin Silk by um, Revolution. This one, ha I have an F2. These are both cool tones. Um, with the True Match, they have a great shade range. So you can get, I can do, uh, spring shade or summer shade or winter shade a fall shade i can get you know just about any look that i want to as far as their skin shades and then with the skin silk by revolution this one has a lot of glow and it's just really pretty so putting these two together i thought would be a really good idea today um as far as what i went ahead and did on the cheeks i did the elf this is their liquid blush in the moth and then I went ahead and used the MAC and their bronzer and light radiant mercy so that's what I have on there the Girl Scouts of America did go ahead and do a um, collab with Hard Candy this is their um, <clears throat> excuse me highlighter and trefoils and so that's what I have on as far as the highlighter today and it's showing up yeah it's showing up all over the place as far as my um concealer i went ahead and used the l'oreal true match this one was LL ln1 so that's what i have on there oh and i did put a little bit of the l'oreal lumi uh lotion underneath um so I guess if you really wanted to go ahead and do the base products, this is what I have on as primer. And then I have these two on as foundation. So I went for a glowy, glowy look today. I wanted to go spring and fun and light and, you know, different. So that's what I did. I used the ColourPop. This is their Out of Quartz and went ahead and used this as a highlighter as well. So officially I have two highlighters on as well. And then what I did for the lips today was I went ahead and used ColourPop Highliner or ColourPop um, Lip Liner in Heart On. And then I went ahead and put the NYX Fat Oil with it. So, yep, that's how that worked out today. And with the eyes, these pastel colors took off just like the cool colors kind of took off and um so all of a sudden we're seeing a whole bunch of pastels where even though it's the right time of year it's springtime so pastels easter you know the whole spring vibe that comes around every year um what i i wanted to go ahead and get a pastel palette because i've been wanting one for the springtime uh nomad had their tokyo palette and um with nomad if they're discontinuing a palette they'll go ahead and put it on a deep discount and so uh last time i checked they still have this one but that was about three weeks ago so i don't know if they still have it but this is what i went ahead and picked up from them it's their tokyo palette and uh today let's see what did i do i went ahead and used uh, this one on my crease and then i went ahead and used this on the outer corner and as an eyeliner and i think that's all i used from this palette and then as far as what i went ahead and did for the shimmers today is i got in some of the looksy um, and this is Feels, and this is a duochrome. Actually, it's more of a multi-chrome. It definitely has purple, gray, a little bit of black, I would think, and some silver in there. So really pretty there. So I have that on. And then this other one, 
page. I'm not sure what the name of this one is. Gingerbread. Okay, so I have gingerbread, and I have that on from here to here. And I'm going to put a little bit of it right under the brow bone as well. So now we got shimmer everywhere. And this is also a duochrome. It looks like it has some uh, pink and gold and silver in it. It's really pretty, really pretty one. And so that's what I have on for the eyes, and I just thought that it would be fun to have some really sparkly shimmer multi-chromes with uh, some pastels. So that's what I have on. As far as going ahead and getting into the topic of today, we're looking at a whole bunch of the newer foundations. And um, I have the CoverGirl Simply Ageless Skin Perfector Essence. I have mine in Fair. And then the Revolution Skin Silk, I have mine in F2, which is a cool color. Uh, one that could be considered controversial. Um, I have the About Face Foundation, it's called the Performer. And this one is actually running at $22, so it's this one. So even though you can make a case and say that this is not a drugstore foundation, this is definitely a drugstore foundation. It's at 22 and this one's at 22. And just for the sake that it's newer and it just came out, we're going to put it in the drugstore video. And then um, a couple of the other ones that I have, I have the Maybelline Superstay C+. And I also have the Beauty Bay Glow Filter as well. And uh, the L'Oreal True Match as well. So these are the foundations that we're going to be kind of looking at and comparing today. Oh, I had one more. Um, again, it's been out for a little while, but it's newer to me. And this is a Hard Candy Glamouflash. So these are what I have, and we'll go ahead and get started. And going ahead and getting started on the, what I would say the more traditional foundations um, would actually be probably the Super Stacy Plus and the About Face. And the Super Stacy Plus is listed as a 24 24 hour skin tint. Um, if you look in the bottle, you can definitely see that there is some shimmer in the bottle. But when you get it on your face, it acts like a foundation. So I'm treating it like, like a foundation. I have mine in shade 102. And um, it definitely stays on. I don't think this performs like a skin tint. I think this performs a lot more like a regular foundation and it is it definitely is not as glowy as it when it first came out everybody was saying it's glowy glowy it's going to be like a dupe for the Mario foundation and I don't have the Mario foundation but I can tell you this is not a glowy glowy foundation. It's part of the Superstay line, and it's lighter than their other foundations, but I still think that it's pretty much a regular foundation. With the About Face, um, with this one, this doesn't have any dimethicone in it. So, again, I would put this on um, the regular foundation end just because so many of the glowy products that I'm going to be talking about, um, hyaluronic acid and dimethicone and everything to make them as glowy as possible. This one I found, um, let's see, I mine in, yeah, I think it's F2, the cool the cool shade and um, I found that once again this one performs pretty much like a regular foundation for me and has some really good wear time um, <clears throat> definitely to the 8-10 hour mark probably to the 12 hour mark as well and so if you're looking for a foundation that's pretty much on the tr traditional side of things I would go with either one of these two and um, as far as the skincare benefits in the Super Stacy Plus, 
I think generally among the beauty community that it's really thought that skincare and foundation is nice, but it don't count on it to really do much because there's you don't put enough on your skin. Uh, you have other products on that are interfer interfering with it getting into the skin. So um, it's, it's good marketing, but it isn't necessarily a real... Uh, a real something or other that you can count on, you know. Um, so, uh, moving on to the next set of foundations, and uh, with that one, I'm going to put all the foundations that have a lot of hyaluronic acid into one group because they all tend to be really glowy, they tend to be tense, they don't have the 14 hour wear, they're going to be anywhere from you know, five to eight hour wear usually. And so in that grouping, we're going to go ahead and put the Revolution Skin Silk. And again, really gorgeous finish. It advertises um, that it's a serum foundation. It does have some skin care in there, and it has hyaluronic acid in there. Another one, uh, the Glow Filter by Beauty Bay. Again, another skin tint, really glowy formula, really glowy formula. And um, with this one, they only made a couple of shades. I think they have five or six shades altogether. So one shade's supposed to cover a whole bunch of skin tones kind of thing. And so both of these have hyaluronic acid, they're tense, and you know, it's somewhere be around a five to eight hour wear. Another one, if you want something to compare it to that's been out for a while, that has it's a lot like these ones. It's going to be the Pretty Fresh by ColourPop. Again, a hyaluronic acid tint that has that'll even out your coverage. It'll give you some glow, but it definitely isn't going to have a 14-hour wear for you. Um, but again, really pretty ones. Um, just tend to be really pretty formulas all the way around and definitely great for those uh, family holidays and you know um, just getting dressed up and getting pretty I guess is what I would say with these ones and um, let's see as far as mix or moving over to the next um, set of foundations. I think we're moving into the long wear area here. The True Match by L'Oreal, um, they have 47 shades. And like I was saying at the beginning of this video, I can have a shade for spring, summer, fall, and winter um, from their line. And so really good line if you... Um, <clears throat> think that you're harder to match as far as foundations go. Um, this is a line to go to. has a very natural finish and again a pretty long wear kind of thing. Uh, not as long wear as the Superstay is, but uh, definitely will get you through a 12-hour day. Uh, the other one that I would go ahead and put into this category is going to be the Glamouflage. Um, this may be the, yeah, it says full coverage on it. I would go ahead and agree with that. And actually, it's oil-free, vitamin E, long-wearing, and um, it's definitely a really pretty finish but it's definitely heavier on the face than some of the other ones. But um, if you're wanting to go ahead and uh, cover uh, spots or whatever you need to cover, this would probably do it. Uh, this is, I got mine in buff, and I went for the, the um, skin tone that I wanted to have <laughs> instead of the skin tone that I actually have. And this is, it really, this, particular shade goes really peach and so it's really fun to wear with a turtleneck and I can be a whole different color for a day so um but I've had fun with this foundation it's a good one it doesn't make you look caked and so been really enjoying that one as well okay getting on to our most unusual and most expensive of the um 
Foundations, the Cover Girl Simply Ages, Ageless Skin Perfector Essence. And this one has the little balls of pigment in it, and it goes on like water. Um, it also has 0.5% Bakuchiol in there. Again, um, skincare in foundations. Again, the beauty community in general just doesn't think it works too well. Um, with this one, I've heard, and I haven't seen any videos on it yet, but heard of people going ahead and using this as a primer underneath and then going ahead and using the foundation on top of it. Um, but I am planning to go ahead and use it as a regular foundation and have worn it as that already. Um, it's definitely going to be matte. It definitely uh, dries down. So you get it in your hand and you just kind of go ahead and rub your hands together to start breaking up the balls and then go ahead and put it on your face and it definitely dries down it definitely has some coverage it'll even you out um, it does run at $22 over at Ulta it sold out before it even got to the stores. Um, I did do a video where I had actually found it over at Target for $15, and it was actually in stock. You didn't have to order it. Um, but this one is like breaking all the rules of uh, foundations from the drugstore, and I think it was meant to break all the rules, and it's definitely going ahead and doing that. Again, this one, not a big shade range. There are only about eight shades, so one shade is supposed to cover multiple skin tone kind of things. And... Um, <clears throat> yeah, I would think, say definitely for novelty, this one definitely wins. Um, it, there is a high-end foundation, actually a couple of them. I think Rose Ink and is it Chanel that have one that's like this? So um, I haven't tried those two, but this is a new creature at the uh, trick store. And so we're all just sort of kind of trying to figure out how to use it and comparing it to other other foundations and um, I think we're just kind of getting to the end but uh, this video I didn't know if I was going to be able to do it all in one video as far as doing a comparison I may actually come back and do a couple more videos comparing them uh, once I have more information on them trying seven foundations um, in three months is actually quite a lot and you know you want to make sure that you you know try this foundation that many times and this other foundation that many times and stuff like that so I definitely may be doing more videos sort of comparing them and there's more stuff coming out still so I may be doing some more of these, but um, I think it actually went pretty okay for first time, sort of jumping in and trying to figure out what's going to do what and what does what and, you know, all that good stuff. So um, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later, and have a great day. Bye.